Do I have to do anything? No, Raj. Would you like to share or no? I don't think so. Okay, okay. Then, then not, not needed. Okay, Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhaivacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We're reading the Krishna book and we're up to chapter number 81 entitled Sudama Blessed. 我们今天继续讲Krishna快乐全员 我们讲到第81章 Sudama被赐福 81章 Yes, yes, Mara Okay, okay So Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the Super Soul in the heart of all living entities 主Krishna是所有生物心中的超理。So you, you have to mute people there, Guru Mani. Yeah, yes, Guru I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Okay. All right. So, Lord Krishna knows everyone's heart very well. And he's especially, the Brahmanas are very dear to Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna loves the Brahmanas very much. So, Lord Krishna is sometimes called Brahmana Deva, which means that he is worshipped by the Brahmanas. So it's understood that a devotee who is fully surrendered to Krishna has already acquired the position of a Brahmana. Without becoming a Brahmana, no one can approach Krishna. Krishna is especially concerned with getting rid of the distress of his devotees. And he is the only shelter of pure devotees. So Lord Krishna, for a, a long time, he talked with Sudama Brahmana about their association in the past. So he wanted to enjoy the company of his old friend. So he smiled at Sudama and he asked him, he said, My dear friend, what have you brought for me? He 
Has your wife given you some nice food stuff for me to eat? So while he was addressing his friend, Lord Krishna looked upon Sudama and smiled with love. So he continued, Krishna said to him, My dear friend Sudama, you must have brought some, some, something to present for me from your home. So Lord Krishna knew that Sudama was hesitating to present him the gift which he brought. Krishna knew Sudama didn't have much of a present to give him. It wasn't a very valuable present. He just simply brought some, some very poor quality chipped rice. And it wasn't even fit for eating. But Krishna could understand the mind of the Sudama Brahman. So Krishna said to him, My dear friend, I am I am not in need of anything. But if my devotee gives me something as an offering of love, then even though it may be very insignificant, I, I will I, I would definitely accept it. Even though it may be very insignificant, I will take it with great pleasure. But if a person is not a devotee, even though he may offer me very valuable things, then I won't like to accept them. I accept only things offered to me in devotion. It doesn't matter how valuable a thing may be, I will not accept it if the person is not a devotee. If, but if my pure devotee offers me even something which is very insignificant, like a little flower or a little piece of a leaf or a little water, but if they offer it with their pure love and devotion, then I will be very happy to take it. Not only will I accept it, but I will eat it with great pleasure. So Lord Krishna assured Sudama Brahman that he 
would be very glad to accept the rice which she had brought. But Sudama was very shy. He didn't like to give Krishna the present. Sudama was thinking, how can I offer such an insignificant thing to Lord Krishna? And Sudama just bowed his head. So Lord Krishna is the super soul and he knows what everybody's thinking. And he knows everyone's determination and everyone's need. So he knew the reason for Sudama coming to see him. He knew that because he was very, very poor, he had come there at the request of his wife. So it was Lord Krishna was thinking of Sudama as his very dear friend from school. And Krishna knew that Sudama's love for him as a friend was never it was never influenced by any desire for material benefit Lord Krishna thought Sudama has not come asking anything from me he only came because he was obliged because of the request of his wife. So Dhamma just came to see me and just to please to please his wife. So Lord Krishna decided that he wanted to give more material opulence to Sudama. He wanted to give him more opulence than what could even be imagined by the King of Heaven. So then Krishna snatched the, the, there was a bundle of chipped rice that Sudama had brought and it was hanging on the shoulder of Sudama. So Krishna snatched it. And in the one corner of the cloth of his wrapper was the rice. So, so Krishna took it and he said, Oh, what is this? My dear friend, you have brought me nice, nice, tasty chipped rice. Krishna wanted to encourage Sudama Brahman. Sudama Brahman. 
And Krishna said, I think that this quantity of chipped rice will satisfy not only me, but the whole creation. Krishna said, I so it's understood from this statement that Krishna was the original source of everything. And he's the root of the whole creation. Just like when you water the root of a tree, then it immediately distributes the water to every part of the tree. So when we make an offering to Krishna or any action done for Krishna, then it's considered to be the highest welfare work. It benefits everyone. So the benefit of such an offering is distributed throughout the creation. So love for Krishna is distributed to all living entities. So when Lord Krishna was speaking to Sadama like this, he ate one morsel of that chipped rice from his bundle. But when Krishna tried to eat a second piece, then Rukmini, Krishna's wife, who is the goddess of fortune, she stopped him. She caught hold of Krishna's hand. And she told Krishna, My dear Lord, this one morsel of chipped rice is enough. It's enough to which will, it, that one piece of rice will cause him who offered it to, to you to become very opulent in this life. So he will become opulent in this life and he will also continue this opulence in the next life. Rukmini said to Krishna, she said, My dear Lord, you are so kind to your devotee. Even this one morsel of rice pleases you very much. And your pleasure means that the devotee's opulence in both this life and the next will be very great. So we should understand that when food is offered to Lord Krishna with love and devotion, and when Krishna is pleased and accepts it from the devotee, 
Then I think I understand. The, and uh, that's it from the. Well, this means that when food is offered to Lord Krishna with love and devotion, and Krishna is pleased, then he accepts it from the devotee. And Rukmini, who is the goddess of fortune, she becomes so pleased to that devotee that she has to go personally to the devotee's home to turn it into the most opulent home in the world. If somebody feeds Lord Narayan very nice food, then the goddess of fortune, meaning Lakshmi, then she becomes, she will become a guest in our house. And that means if she's a guest in our house, our, our home will become very opulent. So the Brahmana Sudama spent the night at the house of Lord Krishna. So while he was there, he, he thought he was like living in Vaikuntha planet. Actually, it was like Vaikuntha. Because wherever Lord Krishna is, the original Narayan and Rukmini, the goddess of fortune, wherever they live is not different from Vaikuntha, the spiritual world. So the Brahmana Sudama, he did not, did not, it seemed like he did not get anything from Lord Krishna. And he didn't ask Krishna for anything either. So the next morning, he got ready to go to his home. And he was, he was just constantly thinking about how fortunate he was to be able to spend time to be with Krishna. So he was feeling transcendental bliss, remembering Krishna. So all the way home, all the way home, he was just remembering what had happened, what he'd been doing with Krishna. So he felt very happy to have seen Krishna. So the Brahmana thought, it is Sudama. Sudama thought, it's my good fortune to see Lord Krishna. Krishna is most devoted to the Brahmanas. He, Krishna loves the Brahminical culture. He is the Supreme Brahman. But he, he re reciprocates with the Brahmanas. 
And he respects the Brahmanas as much as he... He respects the Brahmanas so much that he will embrace them to his chest. Even though I'm a poor Brahmana, he embraced me to his chest. Usually, Krishna will only embrace the goddess of fortune to his chest. But he was so kind to Sudama that Krishna embraced him. So Sudama was thinking, the, how the, the, Sudama thought there's no comparison between me and Krishna. Sudama thought, I'm just a poor, sinful Brahmana. And Lord Krishna is the supreme, he's the only shelter of the goddess of fortune. But he considers me a brahmana and he's, he takes pleasure in embracing me. He used his two transcendental arms to embrace me. Lord Krishna was so kind to me. He allowed me to sit on the same bed where the goddess of fortune lies down. He considers me as real brother. So Sudama thought, how I'm so I'm so obligated to Krishna. Sudama was he thought when I was tired. Rukmini, Krishna's wife, who's the goddess of fortune, began to fan me. And she held the chamara in her own hand. And she's the first queen of Lord Krishna. So she has a very exalted position. And I was... Viraj, yes? We have, we have 10 minutes, Viraj. Okay. And she said, I was rendered service by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Because of his, just because he had so much love and respect for the Brahmanas. And he massaged my legs and he fed me with his own hand. He practically worshipped me. As he want, so materialistic people, they often want to go to the heavenly planets and they want all kinds of material opulence and liberation. Everyone in the universe worships the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. Krishna 
But Sudama said, Lord Krishna was so kind to me that he did not give me anything. He didn't give me even a fraction of a... He didn't give me anything. He didn't give me a farthing, which is a very small amount of money. He knew very well that I am a poverty-stricken man. And if I got some money, I might become puffed up and mad after material opulence. And then I would forget Krishna. So Krishna didn't give me anything. So we're going to stop here today. I don't know if there's any quick question. Uh yeah, is there any question? Doesn't seem to be any. Yes, no, no, no hand. Okay, Vishnu Priya is not there tonight. He's there, but no, no Vishnu. Okay, so then we will stop here. So thank you all very much. Thank you, Guru Mani. Thank you, Archana. We'll continue. Thank you, Maharaj. We'll one an, have a good night. Take care. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Go back to Vrinda ki. Jai.